Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to perform the capillary refill test. The capillary refill test, also known as capillary refill time or nail blanch test, is a simple technique nurses can use to check peripheral perfusion or for dehydration. So how do you perform the capillary refill test? It's performed by pressing on the nail plate or the pad of a digit for around 5 to 10 seconds, causing the nail bed or the pad of the digit to lighten in color as the blood is expelled. Then the nurse releases the digit and observes the number of seconds it takes for the tissue to regain its natural color as as blood flow returns. And it's important to know that sometimes the capillary refill test is actually performed on the sternum or the forehead in some patient populations such as newborns. Now what is considered a normal versus abnormal capillary refill time? Well, typically, if the blood returns to the tissue within two seconds, that's considered normal. So if it takes longer than two seconds, that's abnormal and should be reported immediately. However, some studies suggest that a normal capillary refill time could be up to three seconds in certain populations. Therefore, always refer to your facility's guidelines for this time range. Now, what could cause an abnormal capillary refill test in a patient? Well, when a patient's experiencing poor peripheral perfusion, where there's limited blood flow going to those extremities, or even dehydration. And some common examples that could cause poor peripheral perfusion include decreased cardiac output, and this may be due to shock, heart failure, anemia, or other similar conditions, bone fractures, where compartment syndrome is presenting, and this is where there's a restriction restriction of blood flow in the affected limb. Cast care and placement. If a cast is placed on a broken limb, capillary refill is often assessed to ensure that proper blood flow is reaching the extremity and that the cast is not too tight. Peripheral vascular disease, and this is the narrowing of vessels that can reduce tissue perfusion. Raynaud's disease, this can cause vessels to spasm and narrow in extremities that are exposed to cold, which reduces blood flow. And then finally, hypothermia. In addition, some factors can affect the reliability of the capillary refill test and lead to longer capillary refill times, such as cold temperatures, edema, swelling in those extremities, old age, and smoking. Now let me demonstrate how to perform the capillary refill test on a fingernail. First, you wanna perform hand hygiene. Then you wanna greet the patient, explain the procedure, and obtain consent. Then choose a digit without nail polish or anything that could restrict blood flow to the area, such as jewelry or a watch. If those items are present, you can either remove them or use an alternate site. Then position the patient's hand at or above heart level and observe the patient's natural skin color of the nail bed for reference. Press on the nail plate or the pad of the finger firmly for five to 10 seconds to expel blood from the tissue. Then release the fingernail and observe the number of seconds it takes for the tissue to return to its normal color, which indicates perfusion of the tissue. For accurate results, use a watch to count the seconds. You'd follow the same procedure if you were checking the capillary refill on the pad of a digit, and here's an example of that. If the skin's natural color returns within two to three seconds, the capillary refill test is considered normal. If the capillary refill time is longer than two to three seconds, it could suggest poor tissue perfusion or dehydration, and these findings should be reported immediately. Compare the results to a digit from another limb if necessary. And again, always refer to your facility's protocols to determine the appropriate guidelines for normal versus abnormal refill time. Then perform hand hygiene and document the capillary refill time in seconds, including the location, for example, the fingernail of the index finger on the right hand, and other necessary information per your facility's protocol. Okay, so that wraps up this video on how to assess capillary refill time. And if you'd like to watch more nursing skill videos, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.